Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com, and today we are going to do an unboxing of Vami Titan 2, which is from Wicked Leak, and we are also going to do a detailed overview of this device. We have the box. This is how the packaging looks like for Vami Titan 2. A Wicked Leak has actually launched several devices, including Vami Passion, which is quite a popular device. And, and as you can see, this is how the box looks like. If we take a look at the back side of the box, we have some specification. So it has 5.3 QHD IPS display. Uh, the resolution is 916 to 540 pixels. You have 1.2 GHz quad core processor. You have dual SIM. One is for 3G and second is for 2G. So you have two SIM slot. You have 8 megapixel autofocus dual camera. And you have a 5 megapixel front camera which is quite good because we haven't seen this thing on any other smartphone in this segment. You have Android 4.1.2 out of the box. Then you have full high definition video record capability uh, from the back camera as well as you can play high definition video uh, on the device. You have 3000 mAh battery with, and then you have uh, 4 GB of internal storage and we will just tell you how much of that is actually available. And you do have a micro SD memory card slot with which you can actually expand the storage up to 32 GB maximum. You have 1 GB of RAM on this device. So let's unbox this and let's see what we have in the package. So as you can see these are the things which come within the package of Vemi Titan 2. You get a flip cover like this as you can see which is quite good in terms of the overall build. You get a leather finish over here as you can see and you have a plastic back at the back which are with android written on it you also get a screen protection free within the package with a cleaning cloth as well you get the micro usb cable for charging and data syncing you get a universal usb wall charger as you can see and this is us type so you will need an adapter which doesn't come within the package so you will have to buy it you have a smartphone guide for this phone which tells you about the basic features of the phone and how to use it. But the overall build quality of these earphones is quite good as you can see. You have a metallic mesh over here which looks quite nice. These are standard earphones and then you have the L shape audio lead. And you also have a module which has a button to pick the calls as well as you have a mic as well. So here we have the Vami. Titan 2 and this is how the device looks like. The device has a big display of 5.3 inch. It is an IPS display, a QHD display basically and in terms of the build quality this device looks pretty good. The build quality is quite nice on this device. You have a silver lining or the chrome lining basically on the edges of the phone as you can see. Let me just give you a quick overview of the hardware and the boards. On the bottom we have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging. Here we have a little indent to open the back cover. On the left, on the right side on the top you have the volume rocker and here you have the power and sleep key which is quite accessible with the thumb. And then you have a 3.5mm audio jack at the top, no other button. And on the left side you have nothing. Here you have cap touch capacitor buttons on the body and this is the home button. Here you have the earpiece, you have the front camera which is a 5 megapixel camera and here you have the sensors, the proximity and the ambient light sensor. The form factor of this device is quite good. It is quite good because it has rounded edges so there will be no problem for you to actually hold this device in one hand. It, it feels pretty nice in one hand. As far as the viewing angles of the display is concerned, uh, I do not see much difference uh, when I see the display from this side but there is some fading of colors which happens but still the viewing angles are actually better as compared to the other devices in this particular price segment. So this device comes in the price range of 13,990 as per the MRP from Wicked Lake and this is a very close competitor to the very popular Micromax A116 which has got a 5 inch display and this one has got 5.3 inch which is little bit bigger in you can unlock the phone you can go to the camera directly from here or you can also launch Google now you do have indications for the date and time on the lock screen let's unlock it and this is how the UI looks like it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 home screen which you cannot increase or decrease as you can see. It seems to be running almost the stock Android version. 
of Jelly Bean as you can see. Let me just show you the version of Android. You have 4.1.2 on this and if we take a look over the storage, here we have the storage which is divided into two parts internal and phone storage. So internal storage is 1.44 whereas the phone storage is 1.26 GB which is actually available to the user and out of which around 1.20 GB is actually available. You do have a micro SD memory card slot and you also have external USB storage and we will just tell you whether this device supports OTG or not. This is how the phone dial looks like as you can see which is quite accessible and big in terms of the numbers. There is no problem while dialing a number as well as you can easily reach this part of the screen by holding the device like this and you do have the option to do a video call with any of your contact from here directly from the phone dialer. Weather in New Delhi. It's 95 degrees with haze in New Delhi. So Google now also works on this. This is how the messaging application looks like. It is again stock Android in terms of the look and feel. And there is no problem with this device as far as the typing is concerned. The keyboard keys are quite big in size. We do not face any issues. As well as you can type in landscape mode in most of the application including the messaging application. So these are some pre-installed applications as you can see which come from this device. You do have a file manager which comes pre-installed. You also have flash player. So hopefully the browser should support flash as well. And you do have the option to connect a wireless input device a keyboard basically with this one. And you also have a root explorer. Let's test the browser of this device. And it has loaded the mobile version of the website. As you can see pretty quickly. And without any problem in the rendering of the graphics or the text. This is how the text looks like on the website rendered into the browser pretty precisely quite nicely without any problem in terms of the formation. Pinch to zoom works quite nice. Panning is also pretty smooth. Scrolling is again quite smooth. There is, there is no problem. Let's try playing a video within the browser. So the video is playing within the web page. There is no other application which it is opening as of now as you can see. which is quite good let me show you the camera ui so this is how the camera ui looks like and this is the view from the front 5 megapixel camera we will tell you more once we do a video call with this device we will come up with a video call uh, through skype using the front camera on this device default camera ui looks like you do have the support for panorama mode you have the beautification mode, you have other scenes mode, you can turn and turn off the flash, you have the option to toggle to the front camera mm -hmm. and you can start the video recording by tapping over here and you can also pause the video recording as you can see and this is how the camera shutter key works. It is quite fast, not the fa fastest but quite fast when it comes to taking photos quickly. Take a look over the settings. So under the photo settings you have the option for self timer, content shot, up to 99 shots you can take at a time and you can have the pixel size as far as the picture is concerned you can define it to be 12 megapixel although the camera on this device is 8 megapixel camera at the back with dual LED flash. Talking about the over the air updates you do get over the air updates for this device and so that's all from us right now as, as far as the unboxing and detailed overview of Rami Titan 2 is concerned we will come up with more videos on this device. Do let us know if you have any questions related to this device we would love to help you and we would like to self solve those problems using our videos as well as through comments so you can leave them in the comment section below. You can like this video by clicking the like button below if this video helped you. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.